This is how we get this piece of tulip wood into this piece of cornice. It all begins in our tool room. This is where we produce and store all templates and precision set blocks used in our moulders. Let's look at how we produce a custom designed blade starting with the template. The first thing to do when making any new cutter is to design a CAD drawing. Using this CAD drawing we can create a template. From the PC to a template maker. Using a small drill bit the machine cuts the template out and can etch writing to help identify them. If we have a sample we can double check the template by comparing them together. Now that we've designed and created our template, we can use this grinder behind me to machine a piece of steel like this into our cutter. The first thing to do is load the template into the vise on the grinder. In front of the vise there is a tracing pin. This imitates the grinding wheel. The tracing pin follows the template as the operator uses the machine. As you can see here, which was once a boring steel blank, we have now replicated our template into a steel knife compatible with our tooling. An extra step we like to take is cleaning all our tooling. To do this we use an ultrasonic metal cleaner. High frequency sound waves and a cleaning solution work together to scrub the blocks clean, leaving them nice and shiny. Before we can take the blocks out to the factory floor, we need to take some readings. We use this setting stand for this. We record both the minimum and maximum axle point readings. This accurately defines the required knife positions within our factory moulders. This data enables the knives to be positioned automatically, significantly reducing setup time while ensuring consistently high cutting precision. Using the cutters and blocks that have gone through the processes that you've seen in this video, we create this cornice stock for our shop.